So in the question, they have given four graphs and they are uh, asking us to identify the one, the one graph whose average velocity is becoming zero in the zero to t time interval. And they have particularly mentioned the zero to t time interval, the average velocity should become zero. So average velocity is becoming zero. What does it mean? The average velocity is nothing but it's a total displacement by total time interval. So average velocity will be zero when displacement will be zero. So displacement will be zero when the, uh, the displacement of the for, for final point and the displacement of the initial point both are equal, then the displacement will be zero. Okay. So firstly, we have to identify as the displacement uh, is along the y-axis, we have to identify the two points on the graph which are on the same level. So here the two points are not possible which are on the same level. Here the two points are not possible on the graph, on this curve. Whereas coming to here, the two points are possible. That is here, from here to here, the two points are possible. So when I see the displacement, let the point, this, this point be A and this point be B. When I see the displacement, XA and it's XB, both are equal. Since the both displacement I am getting are equal, then in this case, the to total displacement will be zero because xb minus xa, total displacement is given by xb minus xa, that will be equals to zero. So since the uh, total displacement is zero, here in this case, v average is becoming zero. But we need v average is equals to zero in zero to t time interval. Uh, let us see the time interval. Here, does this is does does this is happening in the t zero to t time interval? No, we can observe that it is happening in some time interval t one to t two. So this option A is not uh, is incorrect. Coming to option B, now let us see. Let us find the two points which are on the same level on this graph. So the two points possible are from here to here. The two points are possible which are on the same level. Okay. So, it's a displacement. Let the first point be A and second point be B. Then in this case, the displacement of A is XA and the displacement of B is XB. Why it is XB? We have to take it to the y uh, displacement axis so that you can get the displacement of point B, that is XB, and displacement of A, that is XA. So, XA and XB both are equal. So x a and x b both are equal. Okay, I'm satisfied. So in this case, the total displacement will be x b minus x a. That is equals to zero since the both are equal. Again, so uh, since the uh, total displacement is zero here, so v average in this case will also zero. But I need the v average equals to zero in zero to t time interval. I need to check the time interval. Is this event happening in zero to t time interval or not? So when I come here, since the point A lies on the displacement axis, on the displacement axis, the time is considered as zero. So, so this is possible in zero to some time interval t. Yes, this case is, this event is happening in zero to t time interval. And in this zero to t time interval, our V average velocity, average velocity, we are obtaining zero. So option B is correct answer.